Hello, welcome back everyone. Um, we'll start off with the club video, uh, then we've got a couple of questions been sent in from BT Sports and we'll move on around the room, okay? Ollie? Uh, Brian, uh, three points on your first game as Wrexham manager, I guess you can't ask much more than that. No, I can't. You know, um, could have could have made it a lot easier for ourselves. You know, we had a, numerous chances to kill the game off, but the players did what I asked of them. You know, I wanted to see that togetherness, that unified approach that I want to bring to the football club, not just the playing team, the, the coaching team, but the fans as well. Um, and later on, that was in abundance. You know, we defended like Trojans at times. Um, credit to Dagenham, they threw everything at us at the end, but we defended well, and I think. Um, just overall on the whole performance, I thought the, the the substitutions made a real big impact when they came on. You know, teams are going to come here, they're going to they're going to stifle us, they're going to sit behind the ball like Dagenham did today, and we've got to have people ready to come on and make an impact. And, that, and that, that's that, that's what happened today. Did it ever feel like it was a goal either side would be just what would win it today? I think the first goal is always important in games, isn't it? Um, whoever gets that. And fortunate for us, we, we did, we got it in, at, right at a critical time, I thought. Um, first half was, was quite even, you know, it was, I was feeling like it was quite predictable, to both teams cancelling each other out. You know, we had a, a good chance towards the end of the half where the keeper made a fantastic save off Bobby Grant. But there was not much in it, you know. You could see Peter Taylor had come here, he'd watched us, he, um, he's come to try and do a job, you know, try and get a point out of the game. And they're in good form, Dagenham. You know, they're in championship winning form, you know, 30 points from 15 games going into today. So we were fully aware of their strengths and we knew exactly how they, how they were playing. It was just about us trying to make an impact. You know, we haven't scored a lot of goals this season. Um, so I was trying to uh, change the, the, the front slightly, you know, give Tollett a chance up there, who I thought was, was, was excellent. Um, and trying try to get us on the front foot, you know, but it was hard, especially first half because Dagenham did do a job on us. Uh, in terms of um, f for a manager, a new manager, the first substitution that you make turns out to have such an impact in Stuart Bevan getting that goal. Um, I guess what managers pay to do. Yeah, it was it was always in the back of my mind, you know, at half time, thinking that it was the first half was quite predictable at times, you know, that Dagenham were were sort of sat in there, they were happy, they were looking to counter on us. I just felt like we needed a little bit more energy, a little bit more impetus in, in them forward areas. Even though we nearly, like I said, we nearly scored just before half-time at Grant. I just felt going forward, we, we just needed a lift. Um, and credit to Bevan and, and Rutherford, you know, they're, they're the type of players who, who, who can do that, you know, they're full of energy. Um, and like like I say, it, it's just one of them things. It was this, it was a substitution. Uh, I'm not going to take all, all the credit, you know, because I was already, I was we were already thinking about sort of looking into that anyway. and. It was just lucky enough for us that it actually paid off. One of the criticisms of Wrexham this season has been, and you mentioned it yourself, um, perhaps that, that lack of creativity in, in getting those chances. As soon as that goal went in, did it feel like the, the pressure of, of that seemed to drop off the players' shoulders a little bit? They created chance after chance as soon as that goal had gone in. Yeah, I, th I don't think it was the pressure element of it. I think um, I thought the game just became a bit more stretched. You know, I think it does settle down after about... When, 60 minutes in the game, you know, it starts becoming a bit stretched and that's what happened. The best thing for us was we had players on the pitch that could impact the game when it's stretched, you know, the energy levels of Rutherford, Tollett taking us forward on the left-hand side. So it did became a bit tit-for-tat. It didn't feel as if we were in any great danger, you know, maybe from set pieces I thought they might have got something, but but I was quite happy with the way the defence um, organised themselves. They looked very solid. Um, they attacked everything, especially late on. So so yeah, I was I was I was very I was I was very comfortable on the side, um, but like you say, in that at, 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 in the national league, anything can change at any moment, and we could have made it a lot easier for ourselves. You know, Akil Wright had numerous chances to to put the game to bed, but but it was it wasn't his day in front of goal. So the biggest thing is for me, he was actually in the position to to have the the, the chances at goal. That's the biggest thing from especially being an ex midfield player myself. Um, but yeah, that's something that we can work on going forward. In terms of your team selection before the game, though, Jason Oddswell, was there? Uh, was that purely a tactical decision or was there an uh, injury behind that one? No, it was just a tactical decision. Um, I made my decisions, um, picked the team, uh, picked the substitutes to, to see how we could get the best out of this game. You know, um, The guys that were left out, 
today. They've all got a big part to play this season. Um, Jason's included in that, you know, Nicky Devidix, um, Kieran. They're, they're, they've all got they've all got big parts to play. Um, I just felt going with what I had on the eleven and, and on the bench today was was the right formula, you know, just so I could make changes, make the right impact as and when I needed to. And lucky for me, it paid off. And uh, I guess satisfied to get a win, especially when you've had only a couple of training sessions to uh, to get to know the lads, get to know the, the system, etc. Uh, you've got a full week now um, going up to have it next week. Yeah, it's it's always hard. It's been a bit of a whirlwind, you know, the last 48 hours or so. Um, credit to the players. The first two days have, have been fantastic. They've been sharp. They've been energetic. Um, I was quietly confident coming into today, if I'm being honest. But then once the game starts, you can become a little bit nervous, you know, especially when the way Dagenham set up, you know, they tried to stifle us, um, and we had to respond to that and try and try and make changes to, to obviously get get the win. But going forward now into this week, it gives me a bit more time to work with the team, you know, on, on looking at the formation, how we're going to get the best out of them against Havant next week, and and really, really take the game to them, you know, away from home. It's going to be it's a lot more difficult, you know. The emphasis is on the home team to obviously come at us, but I want us I want us to play with a freedom. That's I want us to play with a with, with a with a flair, a little bit of fluidity, you know. I want people to enjoy playing. I want people to make angles. I want them to get on the ball, and that'll be the same away from home as well as as, as well it would be at home. Finally, for the club video, um, in terms of an assistant, you, you've not had one today, but uh, in that week, are you any closer to um, bringing someone inside you? Um, yeah, talks are going on. Um, I haven't got no one as yet named, um, and I'll keep that private. But but yeah, talks are ongoing behind the scenes. Um, on timelines, probably looking towards the end of next week, if I can get the person who I want over the line. But yeah, I'm in no rush. Um, the guys who have been helping me this week have done a fantastic job. You know, Dan Nolan, Carl, Jussie, um, they've, all, they've all chipped in. Um, and that's that's important, I think, from a coaching team. It's not just about me and my, my voice. It's about everyone and getting the best out of the players. They know the players a lot better than me. You know, they've been here all season. So, so yeah, I was I was calling upon them, their experience, a lot this this last few days, and I'll, I'll do the same next week. Cheers, Brian. Thanks.